What if the entire video was just me doing that? And then there was a quiz, and you failed it. Um, okay, so this is our first real lecture as we get into forensic science portion, where we get out of just nature of science, lab safety, things like that. We're getting into our first major unit on it. So we're going to look at careers. We're a career and technical campus. Um, our hope is that by the time you guys get through your high school um, education, that you actually have found something that, um, that moves you. Okay, that, that you actually want to do with the rest of your life. And so, obviously, looking at forensic science, we're not just learning it because it's not like you just have a everyday job that forensic science intersects with that a lot. But we're hoping to get you guys excited in a potential career. And so we're going to look at some of these different pathways, um, not just now and not just during this unit, but it's going to be our focus all year long, so you need to get familiar with some of these terms. Okay, so forensic science is also called criminalistics. Now, don't use that as a term like, you're so criminalistic. Um, it's basically the intersection of science and law. Okay, the good, hefty, stately definition would be that criminalistics or forensic science is the application of science in collecting and analyzing physical evidence in criminal cases in a court of law. Okay, so we got a little intersection here of science and law. Um, here are a bunch of different careers. We'll look at these in a little bit more detail. What is up with the big toes on the feet? That's you need to see a doctor. If your toe, if any of you look at your feet right now, if your feet look like those toes, go see a doctor, please. Okay. So there's a wide spectrum, everything from hard science like forensic science in a lab, um, all the way to being on the crime scene itself, the more law enforcement portion, all the way to being in the medical field. Um, to even the law aspect of just being maybe a prosecutor who knows and you know who knows a lot about forensic science. Um, so you have everything from data collection and analysis to interpretation to court testimony. You have a wide spectrum of careers. Here are some of the specialized duties. Forensic scientists themselves are going to be doing more of the sciencey side of it. Okay, they're going to be um, taking the evidence that's collected and then putting it through physical, chemical, and instrumental analysis so that they um, can determine, you know, who committed a crime. Um, criminologist is more of the behavioral aspect of it, okay? Um, knowing how and why um, a, uh, a criminal does what they do. We'll look about how, you know, education-wise what you need about somebody to be able to do some of these jobs here in just a minute. Then crime scene investigators, that's more of actual going to the crime scene and collecting this, this evidence well so that it's not just like, hey, I threw this in a baggie and sent it to the lab. Um, medical examina ex examinators, <laughs> medical examinators, um, perform autopsies. Okay, so you know if that's your thing. To me, I stay away from the dead bodies, but that might be of interest to you. Um, coroners, we'll talk about coroners. They're interesting because a coroner sometimes is a person who actually goes through and has a job as a coroner, and sometimes it's an elected official. Okay, so it actually might just be some. You know, some guy like you see like old timey movies and stuff. It's like we got to get the coroner in here to to make sure this person's dead. And somebody just like comes in, they're like, yeah, oh. yeah, he's dead, all right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, and then prosecutors, you're the one who's actually um, trying these cases. You know, trying to put people in jail. Um, okay, different disciplines. So even within these, there's even more and more uh, distinctions as you get more specialized. You have a trace evidence exam examinator um, where you are identifying and comparing physical uh, evidence, things like hair, fiber, paint. I mean, you see here, um, actually trying to determine how to put together what happened at the crime scene. You could be just a latent print examiner where you... Um, take care of figuring out fingerprints. We're going to have a long unit on fingerprints. You will know all about your fingerprints here soon. Um, forensic biology, that's more serology, like we're talking like blood. Got some fake blood here. And that's delicious. Kool Aid. Um, or toxicology, dealing with poisons, determining if a, if a person's cause of death may have been an overdose or maybe it, it would have been that somebody poisoned them. Um, document forgery. Um, Firearms, um, firearms. You also you can you know deals with um, like discharged guns, but also can deal with tool marks and things like that. There's more to this. Uh, I mean, there's even some cool ones like um, forensic entomology, which is dealing with insects and like how a 
you know, how you can determine how long something has been dead by what kind of bugs and how long those bugs have been there you know, in the body. Awesomely creepy, okay? Um, wonderful job to have around Halloween. Okay, um, so here are some more uh, disciplines. We won't go into, into all of these, but, I mean, you can kind of look at them and see where they're at. See, there's a little fly, and then, oh, look, a twin. He doesn't have his mouth. Actually, his mouth's over here. Hey, guys. All right. Um, here are some of the places that you could find employment in forensic science, everything from the FBI to just state and local crime labs, um, even like the Postal Service, Secret Service, I mean, um, all the way down to teaching. Okay? And so wide range of places that you could actually find jobs. Let's look at the qualifications. Okay? And you'll need to know these. I promise. They'll be on the test. Okay, um, forensic scientist. You need to have a bachelor of science in a natural or physical science. Generally, something like chemistry or biology. You need a, a hard science, okay, to have a degree in. If you're going to be a legitimate forensic scientist, um, to be a criminologist, that's more on the psychological side of it. So you need sociology or psychology. Um, to be an actual CSI, you need to you know, basically be certified um, through law enforcement, whatever your local you know, rules are. Medical examiners got to be a real doctor. Okay, you got to be the real deal, white coat and everything. Um, coroners, that's why I said it could just be like coming in with your suspenders and be like, yep, you did. Um, but um, a lot of times uh, you do have to pretty much be a medical examiner to be a coroner. Um, and then prosecutors, you got to go to law school, get that bar exam, okay? Um, so, training wise, college education is needed. A lot of internships, especially if you're talking about medical field, um, and then there's there's training and stuff that comes along with it. You know, along with any career, there's there's trainings, including me. I'm going to a teaching training conference. And this is you know, so I'll be out the next couple of days. Um, organizations. Here's a couple of places we'll actually look at some stuff at the American Academy of Forensic Scientists um, in class, and. Also, some places where you can get, uh, where you can be certified uh, in different areas, and some other places we'll look at, and that's pretty much it. Um, make sure that you know some of these terms. Make sure you know some of these jobs, okay, for the quiz that you'll that you're going to be taking. Um, and there should be posted notes that you could fill in um, as you go along. You can use those on your quiz, but make sure that you know. Where's that? There, there's our skull. Um, make sure though that you know um, know about these different terms. See you in class. I need a good signing off thing. That's a good signing off thing. And may you live forever. Okay. Live long. There we go. That just gave you a nerd of a live long and prosper.